Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Bhuvaneshwari, reader from Department of Oral Pathology of Chetina Dental College and Research Institute. Uh, I'm going to speak about the role of pathology as well as the pathologist in everyday practice in this faculty open mic competition. Uh, I'm, I want to just discuss as a scenarios. Moving on to the first scenario, by seeing this picture, you can be able to identify what is the incident and this was the Air India flight crash Boeing on June 12th in a major role and the tooth were extracted from most of the victims and from the tooth, the DNA is extracted and which, uh, which made them able to identify more than 215 victims in Ahmedabad plane crash and this was a statement in, made, uh, in a famous journal and this man, the credit goes to this man who is a forensic odontologist, Dr. Jay Shankar Pillai, who is in um, GDC Ahmedabad. He came to the scene and uh, was working with the rescue team for more than 10 days in uh, identifying the patients, in identifying the victims. And the interesting uh, scenario is that among the 270 victims, 13 were children and most of them were under the age 12. And among this 13, three were under the age 2. And we know that the molar would have just formed within the jaw in this two years and he mentioned a statement that they made an incision in the jaw and they try to get the permanent molar so the DNA can be extracted and the victim's body can be identified and, and will be returned to the relatives of the victims that made a that made a uh, that helped a major role in this crash and next scenario is that the pathology, how the pathology and pathologists play an important role in diagnosing the case. And the case scenario is that a 29-year-old female who had no relevant history had a tender percussion, tender on percussion on 1.5 and 1.6 and they a CBCT showed a cyst in relation to 1.8 and the surgeon gave a provisional diagnosis of cyst in relation to 1.8 with the, and he handed over the excisional biopsy. And these are the CBCT pictures showing the impacted 1.8 along with the cystic region. And these are all some of the pictures showing the same, the cystic lesion along with the impacted 1.8. And the measurements are the area covered by the cyst. And the radiologist made a final diagnosis of dentigerous cyst along with the differential diagnosis of unicystic amyloblastoma. But after, the, after processing the specimen, the pathologist had a different picture. That is, they had a hyperorthokeratinized rodentogenic epithelium of four to six layer with the characteristic basal layers showing the tombstone appearance and um, this layers of keratinized epithelium we can see here along with this we can see cholesterol cliffs and there was a separation between the epithelium and the connective tissue valve in few areas that made us uh, give a final diagnosis of orthokeratinized odontogenic cyst so i insist here that uh, even those uh, the general dental practitioners or radiologists give a provisional diagnosis of a lesion. The pathologist plays an important role and a definitive role in giving a final diagnosis or identifying a, a correct uh, disease in, a, in the patients. Moving on to the case scenario 3 where the pathology and a pathologist plays a play an important role in research as well as in academics and this was a study done by me within a week like within this week uh, on the topic of knowledge awareness and practice of the time management among the dental students that is mainly focusing on undergraduates as an inter uh, as an um, intra-institutional study uh, to evaluate the perception of the time management among the dental students uh, and also the time management strategies followed by them during the normal and examination uh, days and a google form was circulated among the first second third and final year bds and these are the results showing the tables of time management that is their travel time study time leisure time and time for socializing activity and final years here showed a significant uh, less travel time than the other years this is a table two showing uh, the showing the answer for questions or response for the question like how often they feel uh, exhausted how they balance between preclinical work and the theory and how many hours they sleep during exams and how they cope up during the stress during the exam and the table three is about the attitude questions and um, they have respond they had their responses were like agreeing or disagreeing about the preparing timetable and how the timetable plays an important role in management of their studies during the years so I conclude that strategies like planning, prioritizing and utilizing time management tools